Hey everyone, I've got a Astro AI M6 core multimeter. Bought this about a year and a half ago for $26, so it's relatively cheap. I'd heard a lot of good things about them. Thought I'd try one out myself. It was the first kind of cheapy multimeter that I'd bought in a while. And uh, I haven't been too impressed. I haven't really used it very much because of the problems I've seen measuring frequency with it. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So right now, we're in AC volts, 123 volts at 60 hertz. Makes sense. I'm in America. If I go to the uh, frequency setting, though, it just kind of jumps all over the place. 63, 67, 71, 59. It just doesn't really seem to settle. 75. You know, for comparison, here's a Amprobe AM570, which is not a cheap multimeter. So we're in AC volts, looks good. Go to the frequency setting, 60, stable. This just jumped up to 78. So yeah, uh, I'm going to get these connected to a function generator and show you some of what I've seen. Uh, this works sometimes, but other times does not. It's, uh, it's interesting. So let's do that. Okay, here we are. We've got both the meters connected to this function generator. This is an old analog function generator I bought used, so we can expect things aren't going to be perfect with the values, but right now I've got it at right around 5 volts at 60 hertz, and it's on the sine wave. So I'll go ahead and switch both the meters to the uh, frequency setting, because that's what we're interested in checking. And we're seeing the same thing we saw when we were on mains. The amp probe, nice and steady, and the Astro AI is just jumping all over the place. So let's look at that at different ranges. So I'm going to go down to 6 hertz. And we're getting really bad. We're not even, you know, we're really high on the Astro AI. Jump up to 600. Still jumping around. 6K. That's okay. 60K. Okay. And 600K. About 588, I think, again, function generator is not totally within spec. So it seems stable at the higher ranges there, but in the lower range, like 60 hertz, it's just not working right. So let's try the uh, sawtooth. And yeah, we're seeing the same thing at 60. Let's drop down to 6. That's actually stable. That's interesting. Go up to 600. 6K. 60K. 600K. So it works a lot better on the sawtooth wave than it did on sine wave. That's interesting. Go back to 60 and let's go to square wave. Now it's stable at 60 on the square wave. Try 6. Stable. 600. 6K, 60K, and 600K. So it works really well on the square wave. Worked better on the saw wave, but still had some issues. And on the sine wave, it only works in the higher frequency ranges. Just to... Uh, out of curiosity, let's go back to sine wave. I think we saw problems at, at uh, 600. 
Yeah. So let's go back to the volt setting. And we see it's stable here. We've got 602 hertz and 0.602 kilohertz. The range is just different. But yeah, there's just something about this frequency setting here that it just does not work correctly. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I bought this to to see if it was as good as some people were claiming it was online. They were saying, you know, this is a good meter for the price. Um, I'm, I'm not impressed myself. I, uh, I just wouldn't trust it given this kind of a quirk. Now my voltage measurements have been okay when I've used it for that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to get thrown out in the barn and uh, for checking the battery level on cars and stuff like that. It's just not something I'm going to rely on and uh, wouldn't buy another one. But be curious to hear your thoughts if you've bought a meter, this Astro AI or one of the uh, other brands that it, it kind of gets rebranded and sold under different names with different colors. What's been your experience with this? Have you uh, used the frequency setting? Does it work for you? I'd be curious to hear. So thanks for watching and uh, see you for the next one.